Hey everyone, Daniel here from Twin Bytes with another quick tutorial for you. This time I'm going to be talking about the Avast Secure Line VPN. There's uh, different VPNs that you can use, and I'm going to be talking about this Avast one in particular, what it is, why you might want it, and how to configure it. So with this one in particular you can get this separately uh, from the Avast antivirus or as a part of a package with what we offer here we have it as a managed antivirus and we include this in the price so you would be getting this option to uh, turn it on by default it's going to be loaded up but it won't turn on so you can go in here and just simply flick the switch to turn it on. Now before you turn it on, it does show you your IP address is visible to others and it gives you your actual IP address of what it is currently. There's a little uh, link here if you hover over it, it gives you information that tells you that that is your public IP address that's unique provided by your internet service provider and just like you would use a mailing address to send messages or mail to people at physical addresses it would send your information across the internet and your IP address is like your house address so it's a way of identifying where you are in the world so with the VPN it hides your actual address so anyone from any website they wouldn't be able to see where you're actually coming from and especially for hackers if you're surfing the web in a public uh, location like a coffee shop you can also choose from options of where you want to be located now by default it's going to pick up your location where you are uh, if it doesn't you can go in to change it and you don't have to be choosing your own country it is optimal because when you're going to certain websites it expects you to be in your own country otherwise some websites may not work so the opposite is true where some people want to view movies for example on Netflix and certain movies are blocked in your country so you would want to change it and pretend you're in a country where it is allowed and then it would work it also works for many other things where you may be blocked such as Facebook and YouTube in some countries you can change it and say you're in Toronto or any other country that allows it and then you would be able to access those websites you would simply go into change and then you can choose from all the different countries here and some of them have more than one option like Canada it says there's two so if we click in the drop down menu you can see you can choose between Montreal and Toronto so if you're in Toronto Canada like I am then you might want to stay within Canada so you are not restricted from certain websites and services but you don't want to say that you're in Toronto maybe you'll pretend you're out in Montreal so there's most of them here only allow one but you'll see some of them have two and of course if we go down to the UK they got three but the US has 16 different options available and of course that's no surprise because this is made in the US and the US pretty much has everything now some of these have other options available like this P2P which means that this server is allowing anonymous peer-to-peer -peer file transfers now everything is secure through the VPN but this somehow gives you an additional level of security and there is another one if I can remember where I saw it here um, this particular service here through Frankfurt in Germany they offer the P2P but they also have that this server is optimized for video streaming so it's going to allow faster communication because when you turn on the VPN you will most likely notice a little bit of a performance degrade but it's a small price to pay for having that extra level of security I'm gonna just close out of that and keep that the same so I've got my IP address here I'll go and turn that on 
it says it's disguised in your location it's in the process of getting my new IP address which is fake and it's on now it says you're untraceable but it's still trying to pick up my virtual IP it hasn't displayed it yet but I can see what my current IP address is and now it gives me my virtual IP which is fake and if I hover over that it actually tells me here a little bit about that that um, my new public address is not what's going to be displayed now so as long as I have this turned on my real address is hidden and any hackers or other websites that monitor the IP address that I come from they're only going to see the virtual IP address there's a few options in here if we go up to the menu I can go into settings here we have turned on to show the Avast notifications for the VPN which is uh, good to know when it turns itself on or off or if you turn it on or off that it's successful I can see down in the bottom I didn't show you before I enabled it that it was white and or white and red I think it is we'll see when I turn it off but it's uh, green uh, now when it's turned on so that's another way of identifying if it's on or not here it'll start the program automatically when the computer starts but it doesn't mean that it's enabled when the computer starts that's another option that we're going to get to in a moment you got your default language you can change and also you could receive the beta updates if you want to be the first in line to get the latest updates and accept the risks that come with it uh, because it's not fully tested under the network security this is where you have automatically turning it on when it connects to the internet so turn on the VPN automatically as soon as it detects that there's an internet connection if you want it to be on all the time you can do that but for me it slows it down a bit so I don't have it on all the time but um, it, it depends on what I'm doing and especially if I'm traveling and I'm on a different connection but if I'm in my office or at home it's a trusted connection even though any websites I go to they can still track information it's up to you how you feel about being uh, having the security on all the time you can have it alert you to turn it on and remind you if it's off and excluding the trusted private networks which is good to know so any local um, fi files and devices you should be okay with uh, accessing you can have a kill switch now that's if you are gonna have the VPN turned on all the time and it happens to turn itself off then if you have this kill switch enabled then it will automatically block all access to the internet if the VPN turns itself off and then you have the option here of enabling local device access when the VPN is turned on so that way any network devices network storage network printers they would still work even though your VPN is turned on because otherwise when the VPN's on you have a different IP address and it may not work properly so I'm gonna close out of there when we go in the menu the other thing is the browser extensions so you can have a browser plugin for one of your favorite browsers and that gives you an extra layer of security having the VPN directly through the browser or they also of course are offering their own browser if you want it to download that and use that it will have a VPN connected through it but as you can see here you can use your own favorite browser and just add the extension from here so that's basically the VPN if I turn this off it takes a moment and it goes through disabling it and you can see the pop-up appear now that the VPN is turned off and the icon now it's not green anymore at the top it's all gray and it's got a little red dot showing that it's offline so that's it for the VPN if you do want to have more security this is definitely a, a nice add-on to your antivirus and firewall and especially if you're out in a hotel or a coffee shop and connecting to the Wi-Fi and you're doing any kind of work 
it's good to keep yourself private there so anyone else on the same network they're not going to be able to watch what you're doing so that's it for this quick tutorial i hope you guys did find it helpful if you did please do give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you in the next video thanks so much for watching see you in the next one bye for now